Why did it have to be her? Why couldn't it have been you? What? Where are you? Where are you going? What are you doing? Oh, that's the Harold. And told her to get out. Wasting my time. Why is there a bird in here? Well, if you would clean up after yourself, there wouldn't be wild animals running around the scale. That, that's what I said. So it says here. I want to read it. Yeah, you can have it. I don't want that. Stupid. It says here that you taught kindergarten classes for six years straight. Oh, yes. I just love children. They're so cute and little and I could just eat them up. <laughs> Well, that's not good. Shut up! Nobody was talking to you. Looking like a bleach butt. <sighs> what is it, Mr. Harold? So how is it? You don't have a car, but you can afford a home. You see, I know my Calvin is getting a good education. No, he ain't! I beg your pardon? Ugh. Why do you keep saying that? Frank, don't speak. Mrs. Bernard, Calvin is such a wonderful student to have here. His education is very important to us and to him. Whatever, if you say so. Well, at least I know that someone actually does care about my Calvin. I can't believe what I'm hearing! This old heifer don't even care about her own daughter! Frank, I believe she meant in terms of staff. And Calvin is a boy. Ew. Well, we're concerned that Calvin isn't really getting along with the other kids. Why to be fair? Nobody likes him. Frank. What well, is true? Well, your parents hate me. What did you do? I slapped your mama. <gasps> You slapped my mom? I do it again, little boy. Take this too. Ah! Ah! Mr. Harold, stop. Oh, come on! I was just a humor. It was hilarious. We need to produce some sorts of punishment. take myself to work, you know. I got my own car. Mm, well, you got all flats. What? You're kidding me. Nope. Popped the tires when I came here. You popped my tires? <laughs> I just kidding. I just kidding with you. <laughs> 
Thank goodness. I did take your breaks, though. What? Yeah, I wasn't going to tell you, but I figured that'd be too mean. You need help. You're still mad? I'm not talking to you. Just did! <sighs> Can't believe you would rip the brakes out of my car. Oh my gosh! We I thought we already got over this! Nobody cares anymore! I care! What if I would have gotten in the car, driven off, and gotten injured? Well, see you in the hospital. Mr. Harold. Hi! You said you weren't talking to me. Yeah, I wasn't talking to you, but now I am. Well, please don't. Don't ruin my day. I'm going to ruin your day? So I said. You took the brakes out of my car. And I thought we got over that. Mr. Harold. What? Why are we parked? Oh, well, I don't know. You don't know. I said bug! Come on! What are you doing here? I'm waking you up! You're late for work! You gave me the day off! Yeah! Get out of my house. And good night. Go to sleep, you little stupid. Lullaby. And good night. Or you're gonna be jobless. Lullaby. Mr. Harold. Shh. It's okay, just go back to sleep. I know I scared you, but I say I'm sorry. Mr. Harold, I'm scared right now. Now, now. I said just go back to sleep, you little ugly creature. Mr. Harold. You need to wash your hair. It's very dry and nasty. Get out of my house. <laughs> no. You're a very different man. Thank you. It wasn't complimentary. You. That's a first. <sighs> Charlie, how you doing? I've been better. I thought today was my day off. I told you you should have just stayed home. You stuffed me in your trunk. That's a lie. Can't nobody stuff you anywhere. Toby. He's very manly. Mustache. Unibrow. Man hands. I'm pretty sure she got a pants pickle. Excuse me? Well, do ya? I'm going home. Yeah, she does. I heard that. Oh. What is your all the noise in here? It's my baby cousin. <gasps> Get that thing out of here! Can't stand you! You're the principal of a school. And guess what? I don't like none of y'all! I don't know what to do. He won't stop crying. I'll make it stop! No! You can't just throw him into the floor. Oh. I'm gonna rip your tongue out! Mr. Harold, contain yourself. Don't tell me to contain myself! Not a liquid dummy! Look, I'm sorry. It was just a prank, okay? You should not be pulling pranks in school! Exactly! I'm gonna yuck! What? Okay, okay. Why did Evelyn break?
my colleague. <sighs> I don't know. Why did Evelyn break her leg? Because I pushed her down the stairs! <laughs> oh, I got another one! Oh, yay. Why did Shirley survive? Wrong turn. I don't know. Why? Because she was one of the creatures! <laughs> I just killed myself! <laughs> Better the joke kill you before I do. Oh, like, no! It's just a joke! Tell us another one. Oh! This one gonna break down the house! Why does Shirley look so ugly? Who knows, Mr. Harold? Why? Because she will burn that way! <laughs> Why do you even want the principal position anyways? Evelyn, would you agree that Mr. Harold is not fit to be in that position? Go on. My butt. Girl, it smells like fucking down crowd of your booty hole took a dump and died. Oh, ha, ha. Wee! Let's do it again! Wee! What the hell? That's so fun! Wee! Here we go again! Here we go again! Mr. Harold, I did not commit that crime. What? Oh, it's just you. Oh, what's up, Linda? It's Madison. Well, it's Linda now. Linda, it is. So. What are you doing here, mopping the floor? I just figured it was better than mopping the walls. Idiot. You are my favorite teacher. <laughs> Mr. Harold, you just saved my life. Can't find it anywhere. I saw it walking out the store with it the other day. <laughs>